Comet browser was released around July 9th, 2025, and at that time, it cost about $200 for its max tier subscribers, which is quite a lot, at least for me. But after three months, around October 2nd, 2025, they made the entire browser free. That's really amazing because it offers AI features that I think no other browsers currently have. So if you'd like to have an AI that does everything for you right inside your browser, grab a cup of tea and let's see what it offers. First, to install the Comet browser, head over to perplexity.ai slash Comet and click on download. At the time of recording this video, Perplexity Comet is available for Windows and Mac OS. There's no Linux version yet, but as shown on my screen, it's promised for the future. Click on start install. Now the launcher will download the latest installation file and begin the setup process. Once installed, click on launch to open Comet. Now you'll see a smooth first time setup animation. Here you can import your data from the last browser you used. This includes history, settings, bookmarks, and passwords, making the switch seamless. Just select your previous browser or click on do this later if you prefer to skip. In Comet, each profile is represented as a planet. So pick the one you like and name it. For example, I choose Jupiter. Next, select the browser theme and click on continue. I like dark, so I'll choose that one. Now you'll be asked whether you want to make Comet your default browser or not. Add it to your taskbar, open it on startup, and help them improve Comet. I personally unchecked all these options because I'm testing the product and I don't want my data to be shared. Now that the setup process is finished, the browser opens and asks you to sign in into perplexity. While it insisted on this, logging in allows the AI to give you better and more personalized responses. So I log in here. As you can see, this is the main page of our new browser, Comet. It's clean and well designed. At the top, you'll find search and chat, along with the main perplexity options like search, research, and labs. Below that, you'll see extras like a clock, which is based on your IP address, I think, but you can change it here by clicking on these three dots and choose which location you want. You also have access to stock news and weather info. Further down, you'll see recent tabs. So far, nothing too surprising. Let's explore what Comet is really built for. AI agents or assistants named by Comet. When I try to use it, it first requires me to log in which is normal since AI agents need your account to function. After signing it, it shows us new assistant features. So now I'm at the Proton Mail website and I'm going to ask my AI agent to send me an email. So this is the prompt I want to send to AI. Send an email to test at signhello.com and thank her for the lovely night we had last night. And hit enter. So now it's thinking and as you can see it's opened the new message is it's gonna compose the new message and filling out the forms the subject is filled now and now all it's gonna do is to write the email body the email body is processing and now it's written so the email is now composed it will ask you again if you want to adjust anything, add or remove. I'm gonna add my name. And now when you're done, click on continue. Now the email is ready and all it has to do is to send the email. Now it's being saved and sent. Just like that, it's just a prompt. You did write an email address, which was clean and formal. So it's not limited. You can do almost anything you want with the AI agent. Now let's do another example, which is kind of harder. I want the AI to buy me a Silent Hill F city game for this Steam account, but with the cheapest price in my country. 
so it should search all the websites and compare them then buy it from the lowest one so now it's searching along all the websites getting the prices and now if you click on this you'll see a preview of what's happening in the ai agent now it found the website which i'm gonna buy it from and also found the coupon so now it should check out for me now it's added to my cart and ready for checkout i also asked him to add a discount code and now as you can see the discount code is already added so now everything is ready and it did its job really good now what i'm gonna do is to apply the coupon and buy the game these examples were just two simple ideas where you can use AI agent for. Now it really depends on you that what are you going to do with this AI agent. So now that you saw a little bit of what Comet does, it's time to explore more of them. If you head over to this website, there is a prompt library for all kinds of use cases and people. For example, there are general use prompts like opening apps, finding news, checking prices, or just asking to open whatever you're saying it. You can also ask it to pull data from your calendars, emails, browsers, or even finance tools. It's great for startups like searching on Product Hunt, or for students looking for books, solving assignments, and of course for business too. And I should mention that it's not just limited to those prompts, pretty much anything you want to do is possible with Comet AI. Just search for what you use daily, explain it a little bit, and it will handle the rest for you. Comet is not limited to AI assistants you use on your browser. It also includes three other AI tools. The first one is the summarizer. It works simply by clicking this button over here. It also summarizes articles or YouTube videos instantly. Just head over to the website you want and click on Alt plus S. For YouTube, it can answer questions like what happened at minute 30 or almost anything you ask about the video or a part of the video. There's also a voice AI feature that lets you ask questions hands-free while browsing. At the time of recording this video, you can get 12 months of Perplexity Pro free with just a PayPal account. Links in the comment section. The third one is the AI Assistant, which we had explored recently. So now let's get to the browsing experience with Comet. So first we had the homepage, which is simple but packed with useful info. It's also customizable at the top and tabs can be grouped by AI. We also have split tabs. You can view two tabs side by side, though it's limited to only two tabs. So you cannot use it with three or more. Here we've got the voice search, which is all right. And here we also have the copy link to clipboard. I use this one a lot. Comet browser is based on Chromium, so it supports all Chromium extensions. Now let's see what we have in the settings tab. The first one is you and Comet which is for reporting, profiles, and browser autofill on passwords. So there is nothing new here. Then we have privacy and security. The first option here is safety check, which Comet regularly performs to make sure your browser has the safest settings. We have add and tracker blocker, which ensures smoother and more private browsing. I think tracker blocker is kind of essential for all browsers. These three cards here show you the safety level of your passwords, the browser version, and safe browsing. Safe browsing protects you from unsecured websites. If you have any problems opening web pages, you may have to turn this off, but normally it should stay on. We also have a performance settings tab, which is really good. You can set it so that if a tab is inactive, it shows a dotted circle around the app icon. You can also choose whether to show preview images and memory usage when you hover on the tab or not. Then we have memory saver, which is turned on by default. There are three levels of saving. Set these based on your needs. The only difference between them is the timing. 
moderate keeps the tabs active for longer while maximum makes them inactive sooner. Now let's move on to the search engine section. By default the search engine is set to perplexity search. I personally don't like it because it's a little bit slow and doesn't show proper results, at least for me. You can change it here to Google, Bing, Yahoo or DuckDuckGo but it's not limited to this. Click on manage search engines and you'll get access to all search engines to either set them as default or use them with shortcuts. This is also useful for websites like YouTube. I personally search a lot on YouTube. So instead of typing youtube.com, then clicking on this search bar over here, just write colon YouTube or anything you want to set. You can then use tab key for autocomplete and then write the query or what you're going to search for. For example, tech with mobbing. You also have access to native Google Translate built in. Just enter a website and click on English. So overall, Comet is an excellent browser that brings AI features for free, something no other browsers currently offer. Performance is similar to Brave, though Comet uses a little bit more RAM, I think it's due to AI, still it runs smoothly and cleanly on Windows. If you like Comet, mobile apps for Comet are previewed focusing on voice interaction and eliminating ad clutter, but there's no exact release date yet. If you want an AI powered browsing experience, Comet is one of the best choices available today. If you like this video, give me a like and subscribe for more useful tech videos. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.